sits on the throne and under the land to him who sits on the throne and unto the land be blessing and glory Blessing and glory and honor and power forever to him who sits on the throne and unto the land to him who sits on the throne and unto the Sing and glory and honor and power forever. Be blessing and glory and honor and power forever. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Sits on the throne and unto the land. Be blessing and glory and honor and power forever. Be blessing and glory and honor and power forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, praise you, praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the book of Revelation, the vision was given to John the Apostle. The vision of glory glory of the Lamb of God slain and yet living and all the angels and living creatures all worshipping and adoring crying out to you glory, praise blessing and honor the Lord is here with us with us in the glory of love. He wanted to be with us. With us in the world, among us who are sinners. He wanted to be with us. And that's what love urged him. He loved his own. And he loved them to the end. That infinite love urged him to remain with us. But in the simplicity of bread. Because he said, I am the living bread. I am the living bread. Come down from heaven. Bread is to give us life. Heavenly bread, living bread to give us everlasting life. Life that will not be taken away from us. And in the last supper... He took a piece of bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take it and eat it. This is my body to be broken for you. My brothers and sisters, look at the altar. Look into the sacred host. 
the broken body of Jesus slain. Slain because he offered himself to be wounded and crucified for one purpose, to make sure that you and I are not lost. That's what Jesus said, John 3, 16. God so loved the world. Our Heavenly Father, the Father of Jesus Christ, your Father and my Father, our Heavenly Father, whom Jesus asked us to call Abba. Our Heavenly Father loved us so much that He gave us His own Son that those who believe in Him should not be lost. Those who believe in Him should not be lost. That guarantee is given to us that we will not be lost. Whatever is hurting us at this moment. Whatever pain is hurting us. Whatever disasters are around us. Whatever is going wrong with us. Whatever sickness we are suffering from. Whatever problem you may have in your family. We will not be lost. My brother, my sister. We believe in Him. We believe in His love. His love that took Him to His death took Him to the great extent of love to remain with us in the form of bread to become so small and little for our sake. And we want to look at Him. We want to look at the face of our God, that our faces may become radiant, as Psalm 34 tells us. Look at Him. Look at His face. Your faces will become radiant. All the sorrow in our hearts, all the fear that bothers us, all that we could be upset about, we want to offer it all to Him. Our faces will become radiant. Our lives will be filled with joy. We will be delighted with the heavenly delight in His presence and peace will come to us. What Jesus said, I give you my peace. To every family, the Lord is saying this. Parents, Parents upset. There's no peace in the family because of what the children are doing. Children angry at the parents. All the financial difficulties that cause our downfall. Distress in our hearts. Peace I give you. The Lord is telling everyone from the altar, my peace that nothing in the world will be able to take away from you. The peace of Jesus. No problem. No problem, no sin. No challenges will be able to take that peace away from our hearts. Look at Him. Lord, we are looking at You. That our faces may become radiant. That we may rejoice once again. Whatever is threatening around us, we may rejoice in your presence, in your love, looking at the Lord, manifesting his love to us. Let us begin this chaplet of divine mercy in this sacred hour. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus 
as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In this chaplet, of divine mercy. We want to entreat the mercy of the Lord to flow into us who are sick, all of us, in one way or other, is sick mentally, bodily, in our family relationships. We are sick. Much has gone wrong with us. We want to offer all that brokenness to him in this hour of mercy, for his mercy to flow down to us. And we claim in faith and love the revelation given by God to Israelites that I am the Lord that healeth thee. God took them out of the land of slavery, Egypt. Crossing the Red Sea, they came to the desert. And there they fell sick. They have no medicines with them. They had no doctors around. They became desperate in fear and desperation. They turned to the Lord they cried out to God and the revelation came echoing in the horizons. I am the Lord that healeth thee. God was revealing who he is. Who he wants to be for us. That revelation today for every one of us. A healing God. God showing his mercy to heal us. God concerned about our health, about our pain, about the misery of our existence. In this first decade, we want to thank him. Thank him for creating us. As the word of God is telling us, some 139 verses 13 and 14. You formed my inmost being. You knit in my mother's womb. 
I praise you so wonderfully. You made me. So wonderful are your works. It is the hands of the Lord who knit together our body. So carefully, he molded us. He molded us. So perfectly, we were created. And we want to thank God for that. This human body, a mind so carefully fashioned with the love of our God. For all that our body is capable of. For the beautiful health all of us have enjoyed and are enjoying. We want to praise God. Perhaps we hardly came to God thanking for the health for the wonderful way a body is functioning, becoming such a great support for us, a mind and our body, we want to thank God for that. When we fall sick, that's when we complain. When there's pain, that's when we complain. But when a body is functioning well, we do not thank God. Today, we want to look at Him and we want to thank Him. Oh God, so wonderfully, You have made me. You have created me. I thank You for that. Let us pray. Eternal Father, I offer here the body Of the soul, 
The Lord is telling you this message, a very personal message to everyone who cares to listen and to believe from Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 10 and 11. You shall find rest, you shall be tranquil and undisturbed, for I am with you, I am with you. You shall find rest. My brother, my sister, turn to him. Come to his presence. Look at his face. The Lord is telling you, you shall find rest. You shall be tranquil and undisturbed. For I am with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You are with us, Lord. You are a God with us. You are a God always there for us. To care for us. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In this second decade, we have much to ask God pardon for. Because this wonderful creation that our body is, that our mind is, we abused, we misused. As St. Paul tells us, our body, we made the instrument of sin. We allowed Satan to enter into our body and the sin within us used every member of our body as an instrument of sin. Our eyes we used to look at others with anger, with lust, with hatred. The eyes became 
the instruments of sin. A hand, such a beautiful hand God has given us. We used our hands for evil purposes. To hit at others. Our tongue, our ears, our legs. We went to wrong places using our legs. Our body became the instrument of lust and immorality. And we have much to, to ask God pardon. Look at Jesus. The Lord will reveal to us, every one of us, the many times we used our body for evil as instruments of sin. And we want to ask God pardon for all that. We were so ungrateful. Our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. But we allowed Satan inside our heart. And Satan used the members of our body as instruments of evil. And we want to ask God's mercy, God's pardon. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mercy overcome all my iniquity, wash away my guilt that's taken over me. Let me feel joy, let me feel joy Grace from the Savior Let me feel love, let me feel love To silence my failure Making me a clean heart, Lord Renew my spirit, restore my soul I need the joy of salvation Deep within my heart Lord let your wisdom flow Wash away with blood I shall be white as snow Let me feel joy Let me feel love Grace from a Savior let me feel love, let me feel love To silence my failures Making me a clean heart, Lord Renew my spirit, restore my soul I need the joy of salvation Making me a clean heart, Lord Oh, bring your presence and give me hope I need the joy of salvation Joy of your salvation The joy of salvation the joy of healing shall come to me, Lord 
the joy of your healing joy of your healing oh god the joy of your healing joy of your salvation come to my heart oh lord the joy of salvation praise you lord jesus praise thank you lord hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah 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 praise you praise you Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to Him. Turn to the Lord. The Lord has this promise to give you from Isaiah 44, verse 22. I have brushed away all your offenses like a cloud your sins like a mist return to me for i have redeemed you hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 claim Jesus. this promise we praise you claim glory. this promise praise praise you, Jesus. i have brushed away hallelujah. all hallelujah. your sins return to me for i have redeemed you thank you lord jesus thank you lord for redeeming us jesus we return to you we turn to your heart our case is turned to you O god always turn to you praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In this third decade, we want to offer to the Lord, surrender to his heart, every part of our body that is sick. We know so carefully, so lovingly, God is fashioned every part of our body for a very special function but today our body is in disarray it's become dysfunctional and therefore all the pain all the problem in our health we want to offer it all to him but Timaeus offered his eyes and Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Surrendering the blindness of his eyes, he cried aloud, I want to see. When Bartimaeus offered his blind eyes, the Lord had mercy on him. And the power gripped his eyes and was able to see the deaf, the dumb, the paralyzed those suffering from leprosy, a woman suffering from hemorrhages, problems of the inner gland, the heart, the kidneys, respiratory system, wherever, whatever is gone wrong, we want to offer it all to him, believing the Lord is waiting to accept every disorder in our body, a mind that is distressed. God created our mind to be at peace and it gives us his peace but our mind is not able to accept that peace and we want to offer our distressed mind to him. Not only our problems, not only the problems of our body and mind, but the problems of the body and mind of everyone we know is a moment of intercession, offering to the Lord our brothers and sisters who are sick and believing the Lord is accepting that disorder, that dysfunction, that pain, that sickness, and healing us. Eternal Father, I offer The body and blood, so a divinity of you, dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a 
atonement for our sin For those of the whole world For the sake of His sorrowful Sorrowful passion, mercy on us and on the whole for the sake of His sorrowful passion, mercy.
Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. The Lord is telling you a message for you coming down from centuries. Psalm 34 6. Look to the Lord and your faces will become radiant with joy. Radiant with joy. All that despair, all that depression, all that sorrow, all that anger will vanish from your heart. Turn to the Lord. Look at Him. Your faces will become radiant. With joy, hallelujah, 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 praise you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, 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 thank you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus, thank you, Lord, God, we love you, Lord. Let's all stand up. We have surrendered our ailing body to Him, our depressed mind to Him, we have offered to Him. Everything gone wrong with our life. And now the healing power of the Lord is descending upon every one of us. And that's what we are asking for. For the mercy of the Lord to flow down to us. For the warmth of the mercy to flow down to every part of our body. Every joint of our body. Every bone of our body. Every muscle of our body, every function of the inner glands of the body, that the warmth of His mercy may flow down and heal us. And the Lord is here. He is a God faithful to His promises. His power will flow in now. At this moment, let us believe in His mercy and power and pray this decade. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. O Lord, I come to you. Heal me now and set me free. Grace of healing, O oh Lord. I'm free, your grace. Jesus. O oh Lord, I bring to you. Take my life and make it new. O oh Lord, I receive. Your power. I receive 
power, Lord. Your power of healing. Oh, Lord, I receive your touch. I can feel your touch in my body. Your touch of healing, Lord. Oh, Lord, I receive your love. Your love, Lord, filling me. Oh, Lord, I come to you. Heal me now and set me free. my heart for your grace oh lord, oh lord i receive, receive your grace i receive your grace of healing lord Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe you can heal me. They say the word. Lord, they say the word. I shall be healed. Everyone I love shall be healed. Your word is power. Your word is grace. Your word is mercy. Let your mercy flow down, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is telling you, Mark chapter 5, verse 34, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Be healed of your affliction. Go in peace. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Let every heart patient believe in this, this word of power. Let everyone operated and now in the hospital bed claim this word, this authority of the Lord. Be healed of your wounds, of your afflictions. Claim this word. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Everyone suffering from cancer, everyone suffering from depression of the mind, claim your faith has saved you. The faith of your family has saved you. Go in peace and be healed. Of your affliction, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, praise you. We believe, Lord. Your power is sitting upon everyone. Your power, every sick person trusting in you, believing in your grace. Your power is sitting upon them and healing. Let your peace and healing and power come down to them, Lord. We trust in your mercy. Lord, say your word. Your word, my brothers and sisters, will be healed, O God. Praise you, praise you. Bless you. And everyone suffering from a stomach disorder Praise be healed Jesus. and everyone Praise suffering Jesus. from Jesus. an acute Jesus. pain Praise on the right Jesus. arm Hallelujah. right shoulder be healed Hallelujah. and everyone Hallelujah. suffering Hallelujah. from a pain Hallelujah. a Jesus. pain of the knee Jesus. joints be Praise healed Jesus. everyone Jesus. everyone Hallelujah. on the hospital Hallelujah. bed Hallelujah. be healed Hallelujah. everyone Lord thank you Hallelujah. thank you Lord for your grace you're a generous God you're a compassionate God you're a merciful 
your love. We believe in your power. Your power, Lord Jesus. Your heart melted. Your heart moved within you in compassion at the sight of every sick person. The one you love is sick, oh God. The one you love is sick. You love the sick people. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We want to pray from the mercy of God for a very special anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit coming upon every one of us, anointing us with the power of love in our families. The power of love shall reign. Everyone able to understand one another and care for each other. The power of joy, everyone sad, shall rejoice in the presence of the Lord. The power of peace in our families, in our relationships, in the world around. The power of patience, the power of gentleness, the power of self-surrender, in order that all of us may be able to say no to sin in the moments of temptations, in the power of the Holy Spirit, God's own power descending upon every one of us now, giving us a new joy, turning us to new creations, able to understand each other, able to live for each other. Holy Spirit, let your mercy, the mercy of the Lord, send the Holy Spirit to each one of us and our families. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, so and divinity.
Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. 